Hey guys, good morning and welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn about bar graph. So in the last video, we learned about line chart. So in that, we used p dot plot, so plot function. Here for bar graph, we will use bar function. So p dot bar, and everything else is similar. So we have to give x and y points. So this time, I'm using numpy array. So for x, n dot a range five. And for y, similar n dot a range. Or uh, let me use array. Okay. We need to give five points. So I am giving points in terms of list, and then converting that list to an array, numpy array. So ten comma five points. No, a range five zero to four. So five points ten five. Eight, thirteen, and one more, two. So x and y. So equal number of x points and y points. So let me give my data. Pass my data. So p dot bar this and p dot show to display our the graph or bar graph. So if I run it, so I get on zero, zero to ten. On one. Four, so that's how I gave my point five. So on one it is five between four and six. Two eight three thirteen four is two. So this is my bar graph, and I said there are two types of bar graphs: horizontal and vertical. So this was vertical bar graph. For horizontal, we just need to add h here. So It's a different function bar h, so this will have its base on vertical axis. So from like this, it will go. So this is probably going to be your x x axis. So if I run it, so my x axis is this now. So it's been shifted from vertical to horizontal. So on zero same ten on one we have five two we have eight three thirteen and four is two. Okay, so bar and bar h. So whatever applies for bar same for bar h. So now extra properties to design or make it more intuitive or or informative. So same here we have width. So the width of bar, and then color of it. So comma, let me use color equal to R, which is red. If I do this, now everything is in red. Now we can do a uh, different color for each bar. So there we will have to give as many color as bars we have. So we have five bar or five values. So let me give R, G. B, yellow, and magenta, M G. Let me give four only. Okay, it will it will still work, having mismatch number and bar, so it will repeat. So R G B Y, then again R. So if I had here six bars, so One two three four, then one two, like that. It will repeat. So if I gave only uh, three colors, so R G B, then R G, red green blue, red green. So that's how it will work. Red green blue, red green. Okay. Either you can give all five different colors or two colors, so those will repeat. Then if one color, so all the bars will have that color only. so this was about color now we can also assign width so default width is like 1 so if i run it on 1 it is covering half distance or uh, no the default width is 0.5 <coughs> okay so default width is around 0.5 i saw it somewhere but we can give our own width so For that we have width property. 
equal to let me do one like complete so now we don't have space in between so if it if this is zero or this is one so 0.5 this side and 0.5 this side total making one okay and another point will have its 0.5 part here till this touching its color or its bar so both bar will not have anything in between so covering the complete distance or like the whole part in between so the default width is less than one that's for sure so 0 to 0 1 2 3 4 5 so we can have different width let me do point 0.2 so this will be very thin so 0 1 2 3 and similarly we can have a different width for each bar okay so i will have to give it inside list or tuple or numpy array or data frame anything so 0 0.3 comma 0 0.5 comma 0 0.8 Let's give four values. See what will happen. So there it will not means repeat if we give less values. So like in color, if we uh, there are five bars and we gave three values. So one, two, three, then one, two. So that will not happen here. We will have to give give for each bar its width. Let me do one. Okay. Now, uh, if we run it, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.8, then 1 width. And height is according to the value we give in X and Y. So, color and width, different color and different widths we can assign. So, let me do only one color. Okay. So, this, this is how you can work on sing, sim, single uh, bar graph. Now we can have like uh, we saw multiple line charts in one graph. Similarly, we can have multiple bar graphs in one graph. So let me keep it at 0.5 only. So single value, we don't need to give it inside list. We could have given as it is, but it will still work. 0.5 or let me do it. Point let me do point 0.3 now this p dot bar this is one graph one bar graph now another bar graph let me copy it so copy and p dot bar so this function we are applying on p object so this p object is matplotlib dot pyplot so on P we are applying this bar graph, then on same P we are applying this bar graph and then we are showing it. So that's how we see two bar graph. So here if I run it, what will happen? Let's see. There are two bar graphs, but both like the second one is overlapping the first one. Okay, so you can't see the original one. For that we need to like uh, make some adjustment move it aside so like this is second one is covering the first one okay so you can't see the original first one you have to make few adjustments so they go side by side so we can see them side by side so if i move the x point so first uh, bar graph has one value on one then another on two if i move it on the second bar graph if i move it the values by a little bit so they can coexist like one then this value will start at 1.2 if this is two this will start at 2.4 if this is three this will start at 3.4 so like uh, delaying it by some value and uh, that's why i use numpy array okay so in the list we sorry in the previous line chart video we saw uh, we used list and there we could not do like uh, list plus some value so that's the disadvantages of list 
and here we use numpy so we can do like this x plus um, 0 point so the width is 3 now so let me start after 3 so 3.3 3. so this will have occupy 3.3 3, uh, space and then this will start after 0.33 3. okay if i run it So this is my graph. Okay, see here at uh, first one is starting at zero accurately, and the second one is starting at zero point three three. First one is starting at one. Next one is starting the same one point three three. This is starting at two two point three three. Now let me change y also. So y let me do plus three. And let me change the color to blue and let me change width to 0.4 so so 0.4 increase the width a little bit change the color and this is how it looks okay same can be done on a horizontal graph bar H bar H So it can't be done on horizontal one. So we will see this uh, how we can do that in next video. Okay. So right now let's work on the bar graph one. So if I run it. Okay. So same we can do here like give title and labels x label p dot x label here we are giving let me give x axis then p dot y label so let me give y axis then title p dot same thing which we did in that line chart video uh, my bar graph so if i run it so title x axis y axis and then there is one more thing in this limits so uh, let me show you one more time here we are value starting with 0 and 4 so according to our data so the uh, that in data i pass 0 to 4 a range 5 means 0 to 4 okay so it will give value 0 to 4 first five values and in y axis 0 to 16 okay so these values on of axes are according to the data now if we want the values or range according to our own need except from the uh, data so how we can do that like uh, set our own limits so for that we have function p dot x lim x lim means limit x key limit x is limit so let me do point sorry minus 2 till 10 okay so now my range will be from minus 2 to 10 if i run it so my values is starting x axis is starting with minus 2 and going till up to 10 okay now next same we can do for y let's see how it will look y limit starting with 0 going till 29 let's see see now the my vertical range is increased to 29 0 to 29 let's see what happens if we give minus 3 so we will get values below so the uh, y axis is starting with minus 3 so our bar graphs are shifted a little up okay upper in the area so that's how it is so that was x limit y limit and title access 
x label y label multiple graphs in one and shifting it a little bit to the right changing values by adding constant so that's why we used numpy arrays and giving single value or multiple color values or different color values for each bar graph and different width for each bar graph each bar in the graph and using matplotlib.pyplotsp numpy as n so simple okay straightforward xlim ylim p dot show so if you have any doubt uh, watch it one more time and thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one okay